an actually normal shift. We're just gonna... Oh, help. I've gotcha. I like to imagine that due to this game's, like, interconnection to souls and, like, the fact that people having souls is a literal mechanic of the game, I like to imagine that it's not abnormal to talk to the dead. Save this man. Well, I joined as an engineer but became a paramedic. So, uh... How new to engineering are ya? Alright, cool. We'll start from the beginning. All shifts start with the AME. This is our AME. It never comes assembled. Uh... Antimatter engine. Here, I'll turn it on for a s second. Normally, when it's on, you'll hear clanging sounds, and well, it's blue. But as of now, we don't need it on. Uh, normally, it comes in boxes like this. So if you take a lit welding tool, you can take it apart. And as you can see, the amount of cores reduces. And to put to to unpack the boxes, you use that. So if you use the multi tool on that, it'll there you go. Each one of these parts. is just a box. It automatically uh, builds the AME. You just gotta make it in a rectangle or square shape. This is... This is the most common layout. 4x4 four four is the same result. So, the controller, controller here, is how we manage the power. So, the simple math is you look at each core, and, and the injection amount is just the core count times two. Very simple. So this would use an injection amount of eight. Try putting a can into the controller. That's simple. Let's get you a T-Ray. Okay, so is your T-Ray scanner on? If it's on, you should see the wires and pipes on the floor. Those are wires and pipes. There are three types of wires on this station, and all stations. They are green, yellow, 
and orange. Green wires are LV wires. Yellow are MV wires. Orange are IV wires. All very important. So, AME sits upon high voltage wires. You'll notice them under the controller. So those high voltage wires feed into things called SMES, which are over here. These are the batteries of the station, so to speak. Also power inverters. They convert the power into MV wires, the yellow ones. If these are empty, the station will lose power. Okay, so HV feeds into MV wires. Exactly. MV wires go to substations like one over here probably just got a bit of radiation poison because uh for whatever reason yeah that's the black hole that provides us infinite power this computer and device controls it once it's up basically don't touch it eat that we got a bit sick from it the substations convert MV wires to LV wires as in it feeds power to things called APCs so, basically, SMES feeds into substations, substations feed into APCs, APCs power basically every device. It's like a circuit breaker. So, if you interact with it, you can see how much power is being drawn. too much power you can also turn them on and off like so Attention. correct and restore it it also turns off computers equipment a lot of things they are very important. If you wire up too much, they will pop. That's why it is very, very important to keep substations and SMES wired up. Because one APC can't power that much. If you walk around the station with your E-Ray on, you'll honestly get a better feel for how all the power is connected. What are you giving them? I don't like jumping departments, but I kind of want my technical... He's got radiation, right? Simo, can you help out here? Seems to be some mis... I didn't want to just tell them what to do. I was trying to direct it. 
No worries. Cool. So, uh... Suppose I can teach you how door hacking and fixing works. Because NG is really just hands-on. So, like, I can't teach you to fix a problem that doesn't exist, exist yeah. if you know what I mean. Okay, take these gloves. Pack a door. Or fix it. First, you must screwdriver the door. So, practice on that one. Good work. Now interact with the door. You'll see the door panel. Airlock control. Okay, so take your multi-tool and press it on each of those gold buttons. I normally go left, left to right. Either top or bottom doesn't matter. Left to right is what matters. Okay, so basically what you just did was bolted the door and burned it off. Which means we can't open the door now. No, you bolted it. That's what that bolt indicator is means it's locked yes now if you pulse the fourth wire again with your multi-tool it'll unbolt it now it's back to normal and if you ever need to hack into a door you pulse the power wires. There's always two power wires. So for example, if you can't access a door, you pulse the power wire and crowbar it. Yes, it's the same for every single door on the station. Except high security. In this case, it looks like the third wire is a power wire. So bolt and power are the most important to remember. The others do have a reason, though, but not important or not important right now. Also, you can snip the wires with a wire cutter, but that's a more permanent solution. If you know how to hack one door, you can hack, hack them all. Rather simple. And when you're done with the door, yeah, go for it. See how we can't access this door? Break it open. Yo. See how the wires are different? This is a security door. Just take what you learned and try it out. See if you can figure it out. I have not prayed today. I've been very busy. There you go. Power is off when all the lights are gone. You just gotta 
crowbar it now to open. Okay. Power came back. Got to do it quickly. Or if you really need a door to stay opened, that's when you cut the power wires. There you go. Easy peasy. Uh, only things left, really, is the singularity, but it's already on, so I can't teach you it. And, like, fixing a hole or something, but I'm not gonna make a hole to teach you how to fix it. There's a belt. In that pile if you aren't using it. Iron's got good ass eyes. There you are. Put all your tools in that. Way easier to manage. Where is it spaced? Oh, 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 fuck. Oh, shit. Come on. Good now. But I'm not. I got fucking set on fire! I did what I had to. I have a full cloning setup in my backpack. Oh god! Oh what? My body! Holy shit! Not good, the quartermaster says he leaves my burning corpse on the floor. Quack, quack, quack.